Hi, welcome to the Oracle Intelligence Advisor, also known as Oracle Policy Automation, training series from theopahub.com. First of all, about this series, this is going to cover what I consider to be the most important subject you need to think about when you start working with Oracle Intelligence Advisor. Secondly, it's going to be full of demos, and at the end of the course, if you need to, you can also pick up the files that I use in the demos and load them into your own system and have a play with them, although I encourage you to work along with the demos as well. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Richard Napier. I'm an Oracle Intelligent Advisor Consultant and Architect, and I've been in the CX industry now since 1999. And I've been working with Oracle Intelligent Advisor, which is also known as Oracle Policy Automation. I've been working in this industry for nearly 22 years and working with OPA or OIA for about 12 years. With that said, let's get started with our first few chapters dealing with everything that you need to know on the very first day that you start working with Oracle Intelligent Advisor. The agenda for our first day of the office training looks like this. The first few modules will deal with the big picture. What's the difference between Oracle Intelligent Advisor Oracle Policy Modeling, and how do all of the other components like the Oracle Policy Hub fit into the bigger picture? Then we'll look at things that are best learned before you start, ideas and best practices to get your project up and running quickly. Once we've looked at the basics of designing a project, building rules using attributes and understanding how to configure them, we'll extend our reach and use functions to create more complex rules and calculations. We'll introduce more real-world scenarios when we decide to talk about entities, those things that allow us to model more complex data models and create more complex rules. We'll also see how Oracle Intelligent Advisor functions let us get the most out of our entities. Now that we've built a little project, we'll consider how to deploy it. In the first instance, we'll look at how to deploy it using HTML interviews. After creating a basic interview, we'll use improvements like value lists, containers, and visibility rules to make our interview more user-friendly. Then we'll see how to introduce entities, both entity collection and entity containers, into our interviews. And finally, we'll take a brief look at the basics of deployment so that we can begin to make our interview available to the outside world. And that wraps up our agenda for the first day of the office training.